Hey guys, it's Ariel Victor here. Back again with the Warship Trap videos that you have been waiting so long for. Well, I guess not waiting that long. But, yeah. I am back with the Warship Craft. Air show is working again, so that's great. Yeah, that voice break. And, yes, as promised, here's the Twin Swarm. The, I, the reason why I call it the Twin Swarm is because I saw those two... Two, um... Nah, not that. Two towers. The two command centers area... Two command center area stuff. And then I saw the, uh, the amount of planes. And that looked like a swarm at that time. So, might as well. Twin Swarm, because I really couldn't find any other name for it at the time. But, the name has kind of grown on me. So, yeah. It ha it comes equipped with... What is it? Um, 18 Navy guns. Those... Mark... Mark what? Uh, yeah. The Mark 45 guns. It has 8 of those 46 CM guns. And it has 60 planes. And there are 6 runways. So... It is able to take on the multi-stage airbase and even the Yamato. No surprise there. It's an ARC ship. I built it to become an ARC ship. And it has enough anti-air defenses to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any aircraft carrier or airbase. So without further ado, let's go test it out against the multi-stage airbase. Here. And it's gonna be a blast. Hmm. Uh, metaphorically, not literally. It also comes equipped with the harpoon missiles and the VLS missiles. So, that's a real plus. Oh, and um, I may be playing naval craft. I may consider playing naval craft soon. Because I went to go try it out just to see what it was all about. And it looked really good. It looked really good. So, right now, let's just launch the plane. The other enemy plane should be out soon. That's always a joy. Ah, there you go. And look at the amount of naval... G the Mark 45 shells just hitting those planes. It's like they're falling like flies. So, it's also quite fun sniping them. Alright, let's get some harpoon missiles to take care of the bombers up top. And I may be having a new let's play. I may get another let's play, a new let's play on another game. It seems it seems pretty fun, so I may consider playing it. You don't have to worry about the other planes at the side. You just have to worry about the planes here. And. Yeah, all the planes are launched. Hopefully, we see some. Hmm. It says we have 50 planes around. Oh, they're fighting the remaining fighters. Alright, no, it's okay. We can deal with these planes. And we are able to go o over a hundred. A hundred and one point two knots. I don't know. Let's deal with this quickly. With some missiles. And the missiles did nothing. Never mind. We completed the objective. And we got 8k right there 
So that was good. And let's also go after the Yamato. I mean, it's gonna. We're gonna test whether it is capable of doing what the Kraken can. This is supposed to be able to give the Kraken a run for its, its money. So if it can't do that, I see no reason in using it. Uh, let's not go full speed. I was the salt with pop won't be able to catch up with us. Oh, we're also having shells picking the planes. Eh, that explains the lack of planes ready for launch. Let's slow down a little bit. Oh, yeah, we're here. Alright, start shooting. And we're slowly shoot firing our missiles at the guy. So that they don't like all miss at the same time. Slowly and surely you start getting hits one by one. And you see how fast we just killed the Yamato? And our planes didn't even reach him. That's how good this thing is. Well, it's not that good, but it's good. It can take on. It can probably take on the Kraken. Sadly, my version of Warship Craft hasn't been able to be updated yet, so I can't make them face off or something. But yeah, I didn't change much to the Kraken. I just added a quadruple gun over here. But that's not the ship that I'm showcasing today. Today I'm showcasing the Twin Swarm, and I tried to make it lo look decent, I guess. It has enough front armor to take torpedo hits, and if you do have a lot and a lot of money and a ton of money, you can basically fill this entire deck with, sort with pups, so it's... That would make you a plane killer. So that's good. It's propelled by four um, gas turbines and three large aircraft carrier boilers. Yeah. It also is the set, the only other ship other than the Kraken to have the range, two range finders. So that's a plus. It also comes equipped with a useless depth charge and a torpedo tube. They're really not much of, they're really of not, not much, um, not useful. They're not that useful. But if there's any ship behind me, that torpedo tube can kill a, a ship or two. So that's good. And yeah. It's made out of all armor. Every part of it is armored, other than the spikes. These, these uh, two by one hulls and the these guys. Other than the spiky bits of the ship, it's made out of armor. So it's on par with the Kraken in armor, but in firepower, I would still say Kraken takes the lead. Because, I mean, look at it. It has, a, it has, I think, over 70 guns. So, yeah. That's more than tough to beat. Even though it has the Navy guns, the Mark 45 guns. But, yeah. I tried to make it look nicer, but I wanted to go for size. You know, arc ships need to have enough space to ha carry many guns and many weaponry but yeah it wasn't much of a design type of thing more of a weaponized type but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> and if you did I would really appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up mm. Or subscribe. I mean, it's free. 
there's, there's, no, there's no other consequences to it. So, yeah, if you can subscribe or leave a like, I'll be very happy. And I will thank you personally through this video. But until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.